Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I'm back. I love saying that. Okay, what I'm back with is, I said yesterday we did this world, remember? This little fairy world right here. Well, I said I was gonna come back with more of like a steampunk world. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call, I think, well, you'll know because you guys already looked at the title. Uh, I think I put uh, Galaxy Steampunk World. So that's what we're gonna create. So what we did here is, of course, like always, I'm working in my um, my sketchbook that I've altered into a art journal. I've glued two pages together, so we got double thickness going. And then I went through all my collage bits. You guys, I'm always ripping stuff out of magazines. And if you wanna do this type of work, you should be doing the same thing. So I ripped out a bunch of stuff out of my magazines I went through, well, I already did it, but I went through all my collage bits. I found things that look real steampunky, in my opinion. Um, these are two watch, two watches. Let me tell you where I get these watches at. And I have to order myself another one of these. It's called the Watch Collector, the Rob Report Watch Collector. You guys, this magazine is phenomenal. It's full of watches. It's about $14, so it's not cheap but it's well worth it you're gonna it's a it's just a whole magazine full of watches let me see i'm getting kind of low on my watches in here well i say that but there's still a ton of watches look okay so this whole magazine is full of watches so and when you're going through like a lot of magazines like men's magazines or fashion magazines always be ripping out the pages with the watches okay so I left these watches with the watch bands because this is gonna be like, I'm gonna treat this like a little mountain in our little galaxy steampunk world. Then this is a truck or a um, old fashioned um, car with all these pipes and I thought it looked really steampunk. I got it out of a magazine that I got for free here in Las Vegas. So my husband picked me up like four of them. It's called the Las Vegas Weekly. And I, I tore out all four of those because I knew I'd be using that steampunk car in, some, in something. This is an, um, a wheel, half a wheel. I put that in here. That's another watch face. Um, this was a piece of jewelry, this metally looking thing back here. This is half of a ship. Okay. This is a thing of like little um, fancy little um, like wallet purses all stacked together. I got it out of a fashion magazine. And I'll turn this into a outer space waterfall. Yes, 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 please. Um, this was something in the background and it got really covered up. So just a little bit of this was left. So that's fine. Um, I think it looks cool. Um, and then we're going to do some stuff with all the outer space here. So let's get started. I wanted to let you know, and I glued everything down with my collage, my, um, matte, uh, homemade collage glue. And then one other important thing, after I did that, I sprayed everything down with clear acrylic matte coating. That is so this is a very paintable surface. Or you can use a product called Matte Medium if you want. But this really makes it nice and matte. Matte Medium is an expensive glue that costs like $10. I'd rather just use my homemade Mod Podge, spray this over it, and call it a day. But this makes it so it's nice and matte and it's paint it makes it a paintable surface and a wipeable surface. Okay, so after I did that, then I went ahead and took black paint and a paintbrush and I painted all of this. This was all the white space left around after I collaged everything kind of from here in. I did want to leave all this because I wanted to paint it black. So I left all this white space here and I knew that this is going to be my galaxy part, right? So I painted that just a flat black paint, cheapy apple barrel. Okay, so let's start. We're going to start with putting some stars in here, splattering some stars. And then we're gonna start making some, uh, we're gonna make a whole little galaxy world in here. And that's probably what we're gonna do for this first part of the video before we get into the goody stuff here. Um, where the hell's my, oh, here it is. You can show you guys are still there. Perfect. Okay, so let's get some white paint on here. Why are these things always clogging up? Jeez. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I had some paint on me. Um, 
I'm going to put some water into this paint, but I need to divide this in half. That's just too much paint. Because I can use that, uh, that a lot of this for other things. I don't need to use that much for... Okay, so we're going to take that much paint right there, spray some water, and be able to make some splatters, which are going to be... These splatters are going to be little stars. I'm using one of my stiff paint brushes. You can use a toothbrush. You can use a fan brush. You can use a regular, regular old paintbrush. You just get different types of splatters with different things. So anyway, make sure that you don't have anything that you don't want to get painted in the way. So I'm moving my drink and that. Okay, here we go. Look how magical this is. As soon as you put these splatters on here, it looks galaxy, doesn't it? I flip and love it. Am I wonder, worrying about um, stars getting in here at all? No. In fact, I think it looks fabulous. In fact, let's just go ahead and put some stars over everything. Because that's just going to add more magic. In my opinion. This is fantasy stuff, so it's all your opinion. <laughs> Especially I want some stars in that little um, half a wheel right there. And that makes it look so steampunky. I've had this half a wheel forever. And this wheel, I cut it in half and I stuck it in here. What's cool about this, it wasn't black inside of all of the little areas here. It was white. So I painted that when I painted the background. When I painted the galaxy, I painted these all in. So I thought, oh, that would be cool little worlds in there. <coughs> okay, let's put that away or put it aside, not away. Look at that, doesn't that just make, oh, just adds magic right away. Love it. All right, now we're going to do some uh, little planets, okay? Um, trying to decide how I wanna do the planets. Okay. We're going to, I'm gonna take the cap off of my paint bottle. I'm going to dip it into some white paint over here. And what this does is it gives us an instant planet. And we're going to do another one right here. We'll do yeah, we'll do one right here. Okay. And we'll do another planet right here. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be all the planets or not, but it'll be all the planets for now. So now we have, let me get a brush of some sort. But that gives you a little shape for a planet, right? So now I'm just going to take a little, some white paint and fill it in. this one in. And I'm not going to go back and make it perfect. If the planet's not perfect, perfect. It looks better if it's a little bit misshapen. Like see how that's misshapen right there? Leave it. Pretty much with all my techniques, you never want perfection. And I'm not even saying they're my techniques. I've learned all these techniques. So I'm just saying the way I do things, I never, I never want perfection. Perfection is too hard to accomplish and it looks better when it's not perfect. In my opinion. Okay. So we're going to dab a little bit of blue in all of these. We're going to work all three of these at the same time. You don't have to work all yours at the same time, but um, 
I've done this so many times that I'm comfortable doing that. And I'm gonna put a little more purple there. Put a little purple there. And we'll put a little blue here. Some people are like, what are you doing? Okay, now, start meshing. Start meshing everything. And you don't want perfection. There we go. The more imperfect, the better. Okay, so let's start meshing. And if one color is taken over more than another color, you can um, go ahead and wipe your finger. Like, I, it's um, the purple started overtaking some of the other stuff there. So, I wanted to. Just work it. There's no right or wrong with any of this. Do until you like it. Like, I love that. Okay. Let's mesh. Cool. Oh, I like that. Well, the only thing is I don't want paint on the outside because I want it to all pretty much be contained on the inside. That's how I see it. But you do you. You do you, boo. Okay, so let's dry these. Aren't those cool little planets? And that's how simple they are to make. Love it. Okay, so let's dry these. If you don't want to hear the drying, the dryer, Fast forward. I'm going to take a white pencil, Prismacolor pencil, and I'm going to um, go around this to give like a little glow around these um, little planets. I had a comment yesterday, and a girl said, she goes, this is really cool, but it seems hard. One, make sure you watch, if you, if you, if you start looking at this process, like at the, from the last video, then you probably will think it's hard. But if you watch it from all the videos, all it is is one simple step after the next simple step as the next simple step. I'm never doing anything that anybody can't do, honestly. So my advice would be make sure you're starting with the video one. Usually I'll have maybe anywhere between three to five, sometimes eight um, videos. So just make sure you follow all the videos because it's, it's, it's just a step-by-step -step process. And it's very easy. Anybody can do any of the stuff I'm doing if... Um, if you follow each video and the stuff I'm doing I know it's not it, it's easy it's just one small step after the next it takes time and that's my, what she might have meant by that like this is time-consuming um, and that might have been what she meant by it and it is so you have to like this type of work if you like it you'll want to take the time but it may not be your thing you may be like girl that's way too much work 
and you may like to watch. I have some people who just like to watch. They're like, I like to watch. And that's cool. But if you want to be a player in this game, um, and, you, and, you're, and you're starting to feel overwhelmed, because I do, it is a million little steps to create these worlds. Just start, pick out maybe, I don't know, six steps that you like, six different things you like, and write them down. Or just write down all, write everything I'm doing down. Just keep a little notepad. And then pick like five or six of, six of them and create one of these worlds. And the next time, from that list, pick a few more things. And then pretty soon you'll have a whole little tre treasure trove of skills to make these. Or not of its skills, ideas. I guess it's skills, whatever. Looking for my eraser. Now, because I use flat acrylic paint, it makes this even more of a, a it makes a great surface. Acrylic paint is a great surface for um, pencil. Uh, colored pencils gives a really nice tooth also if you don't like something you can erase pencil that's the bomb okay so let's do that over here I'm loving this little steampunk world I haven't done a, a galaxy or a steampunk world in a long time I always do those little fairy worlds because that would be always what I go to first but I was like, you know what, I need to do, a st I love steampunk and I haven't done enough of it, so. Love me some steampunk, oh. Love me some steampunk. It was funny, I Instagrammed when, um, before I started doing all this, I Instagrammed just when I collaged these bits, and I said, getting ready to create a, a galaxy steampunk world with uh, collage bits and acrylic paints and some mad skills. And I went, hee 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 hee. <laughs> you ain't gotta have no mad skills to do this. Okay, um, also right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little, take this pencil and do a little, highlighting around this to a little glow here just because I think it, it needs it and in these glows you could take another colored pencil and add some other color to it too which I'm not going to do it right now I don't think but I might later here because I want to move on to something else okay so just a second, I need to make this more of a... There we go. Love that. Okay. How cool that looks so far uh loving that okay next let's create some nebulas and how we're gonna do that is I've already put some paint on here and how we're gonna create some nebulas is just like some color that's bouncing through the galaxy right um, what do I want to do I'm gonna use this this is a beautiful green I love it uh, to me it's like a chartreuse green so I'm gonna take this chartreuse green. This it's by Craft Essentials, which I think you get at Michaels, something like fifty cents. You know what? I'm gonna use my pinky, and I'm just going to just start rubbing like that. And this is exactly how you want to do it because. Is there anything in space that's going to be like perfect? Uh, no. And I want to add a little bit of white, I think, to this. Or actually, I think I want to add a little purple to this. Let's get crazy, people. Let's get crazy. Yeah, cool. It's 
so there's like some purple running through this okay and that's a little too much so let's go back with some green on top of that there we go that's what I wanted <laughs> cool okay so we're gonna rub some more galaxy stuff here we we'll run some more right into here I gotta uh, leave places because I'm gonna put some really big like uh, comets coming out of the sky um, let's go with some turquoise that looks cool and you might throw some white in that yeah cool that looks cool now don't tell me this is not something you can do all we're doing is some really cool adult finger painting <laughs> awesome okay so we need to have another nebula coming here um, let me just move my book over for a second because I need to be able to get in this space and then I'll move my move it back um, I want to try using okay I'm at a weird angle well maybe the weird angle will even make things better yep yeah it did oh that looks cool and remember we have the mat we have the acrylic matte spray so you can just wipe anything off that you don't like it being there I don't want that on the watch right so that looks so cool you guys look at that coming out of the sky uh, fabulous I'm gonna try a little of this green chartreuse color in there oh yeah that looks cool love it oh this is just looking awesome okay so let me come back so you guys can see so have I done anything that you guys can't do heck no that looks so cool okay um Now I want to do some shooting stars coming out, or some major comets. So we're going to use a liner brush, okay? Let me see the time situation, okay. Um, all right. I usually only do my, um, I usually do my comets with white or my shooting stars with white or whatever you want to call these but I was watching Nana's place she hasn't been on for like five months Nana's place if you're watching me girl where have you been um, she does hers with all kinds of colors so I remember that and I'm like you know I want to try that so let's put a shooting star and she does big ones I don't usually do this big a one that's cool love it very cool she does like these big old shooting stars I'm like oh I like that she does this these type of worlds too we also work in these books called abandoned places so it's like reverse collage so it's a cool there's all these picture all these books this guy takes pictures and there's this one of abandoned places and it's just the coolest stuff things have rusted and they've aged and they're all gruddy and grimy and it's really cool looking and what you do is you add collage bits to the picture that's already there so it's like reverse collage and then you do all these kind of techniques on it so it's pretty cool and she does a lot of that I haven't I don't know if I've seen her do it where she starts and does all her own collage bits right from the beginning she probably does I just haven't seen it And Nana's Place, if you're watching, there's a shout out to you. And you guys, go check her stuff out. She hasn't been on for a little bit. I'm sure she'll be back on. Um, but she has a ton of cool videos. And she does a lot of work like this, too. So, check her out. Okay, that's what I like about that. 
this is fun doing these um these big old shooting stars cool these are cool yeah, I was watching one of her videos and I saw her doing shooting stars like this I'm like uh, those are phenomenal. You know what I want to do is I want to do one more planet right there. So we're going to. We're going to do it right now. Okay, so take our lid. Ba bam. And we'll take our our brush here and Dip it into some white paint. Fill this in. If you like these brushes, are they gorgeous? Look how beautiful these are. Aren't they just, I just love working with them. They're beautiful brushes. I love working, and look, this is a mermaid brush, and this is a um, um, unicorn brush. And you get them at Hobby Lobby. With a coupon, you can get a set of like six, seven, eight of them for like five bucks with a coupon. Only three or four dollars with a coupon if you want like a set of like four. Um, and they're over in the craft section, not the fine artist section. And these brushes are so nice. They're great for watercolor. They're great for everything. Acrylics. I love it. All right. So let's. Now let's go ahead and do some meshing. In about three minutes, this video is going to shut off, you guys, and just go ahead and head to the next video. You guys know how I do it here? <laughs> yeah, you know how you do it. My camera just turns off. Anyway, so just go ahead and head to the next one. And it'll leave off, and you'll just continue right on the next video. That looks cool. I think I want a little more purple in there. Okay, but then I want a little more green. So you just keep playing with it until you get the right meshing that you like. Until you get the meshing you like. <laughs> you guys are like, meshing? <laughs> Is that a word? Um, let's dry that. Like I always say, fast forward if you don't want to hear the, the dryer. And because we're using cheap old flat acrylic paints, they dry really quick, which is nice. I do a lot of different types of mixed media. And this is one of my favorite is doing this type of work with collage bits and acrylic paint. It's so fun. 
one of my favorite. Making sure that I don't get myself into any paint anywhere. All right, this is all dry. So just putting a little glow around this planet here. There we go. And it gives it a little more substance, I feel like. It gives it a glow and a little more substance and it's floating out in space, but it doesn't look like it's just floating out in space. If you know what I mean. Okay. So now let's, um, where the heck is my little brush? Oh, you guys, I'm constantly, I am like, ugh, I'm such a mother. I'm one, I'm one of those moms who cooks and clean, uh, cooks and cleans at the same time. I do the same thing in my craft room. I'm putting things away. As soon as I use them, I put them away. Use them, put them away. It's a mother thing. Just because you don't want to have a big mess to clean up at the end. Because everybody knows being a mother, you're the one who cleans up the mess. So, nobody else is cleaning it up. Okay, so let's do another... Um, Let's do another one of these. Um, I'm at a weird angle, so we'll see how that goes. I like that. And it's kind of coming over that planet, which looks really cool. Like I was saying, sometimes being at a weird angle is good because um, it, it makes it so everything's not so perfect. It looks a little bit more like natural, like it really is shooting out of the sky. I mean, if you have some shooting star or a comet coming out of the sky, is it going to be perfect? No. Cool. Love it. And then we're going to do one more. We're going to do a teal one. We'll do that right, right here. There we go. 